Are you a self-employed person and wondering what you should be putting aside for tax? Well, this video is just for you. As a self-employed person, planning for your tax bill can be a tricky thing, but as business accountants, we help people with this all the time, and I thought it'd be great to do a quick video on the 25% rule. Before I delve too deep into this, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below so you're notified whenever we release a new one. So a long time ago, when I was on my journey of being becoming self-employed as sort of a side hustle originally, I was always interested in, okay, what should I be putting aside for tax? And actually it's one of the things that drove me into this profession going back 14 odd years ago is the, the feeling that I was paying too much and needing the knowledge to know how can I legally bring that down to the amount I should be paying. But as a result, uh, what was told to me when I went self-employed is somebody said to me, you need to put 25% of your profits aside. Now at the time, I didn't really understand that one, but it actually it's still, works today. So it's many, many years ago people have said this and it's still true to this day. Now, it's not an exact science, it is a, more of a rule of thumb, but it does work. It works generally as long as you're earning under 50 grand. If you start earning over 50 grand, it doesn't really work. Now, the reason this works is you've got a few things in play. When you're a self-employed person, you're, you're generally paying tax at 20% of your profits over about, as we're recording this in the 2021 tax year, you get 12 and a half thousand pound tax free. So any, any profit from your business, and that's profit, over 12,500 pound, but below 50 grand in that sort of bracket, you're gonna pay 20% on. Over 9,500 pound, so you start paying national insurance before you pay tax, you're gonna start paying national insurance, what they call class four, at 9%. So there's 20% tax, 9% national insurance, and then you also get like a bit of, it's about 160 quids worth of uh, what they call class two national insurance once a year as well, generally. Now. That sounds like, well, shouldn't I be putting 29% aside? But because you've got this allowance where you get some tax free, it just generally comes out that 25% is about the right amount. There's also another thing that's key to remember, and that if you owe over a thousand pound of tax, you have to pay tax twice a year in general. Again, everything we talk about in these videos is in general, because it is very specific to your circumstances. Now, uh, and again, that 25% rule, if you just do it all year round, by the time you come round to pay the tax, you should have sufficient. And in fact, many of our clients tend to have more than enough. And I think generally what they do is they like to put it into a separate account, sort of the tax account as it's known, and just put it to one side. And then when it comes round, they get their bill, they pay it. And quite often, many of them will then decide if what they want to do with the surplus. And quite often, I think it goes in the holiday, uh, the fund or something like that. But it's there, you can do what you like with it. So that's the general rule, 25%. And if you wanna see more questions like this, make sure to check out the rest of the videos in the series where we talk about all the different practical tips to being and becoming self-employed. And there's also many blogs on our website that go into more detail around some of these questions as well. If you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button below, share it with your network and your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.